Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I'm Shekhar Gupta in New Delhi's Manik Shaw Center. And my guest today, well, uh, two wonderful guests, uh, the global CEO of ABB, Ulrich Spitzhofer in India. Good afternoon for bringing, uh, and thank you very much for bringing wonderful solar technologies, but even more importantly, for bringing to us a brilliant ambassador for new technologies, sustainability, and really the spirit of adventure, Bertrand Picard. Very nice to meet the, you. The creator and the pilot of Solar Impulse. I can see Solar Impulse on your chest. Uh, and for, I know everybody knows Solar Impulse, but that's the plane in which you been trying to go around the world purely on solar power. And you exactly. were in India some time back. We were in India, in Ahmedabad, on the way between Abu Dhabi to uh, Hawaii. And the goal is really to make these stops in every big country of the world to promote these new clean technologies and show what we can do with it. Not only in the air, in the airplane, but on the ground, in the industry. And this is really the credibility that ABB is giving to this project. Yes, I can see ABB on your chest as well. And I see you, you carry more logos on your body than a f football star in my country, a cricket star. Yeah, but there are no sponsors. They are partners. partners. It's companies who bring not only the funding, but also the technologies to make this plane fly. Because when we started this project, nobody thought it would be possible to fly perpetually with absolutely no fuel. And, and now it's a reality. And you see, of all the sponsors you have, I'll tell you the one that interests me most of all. These are wonderful companies. That is this one. Champagne. <laughs> Champagne. And you know why? You know why? Because very often sustainability is presented as something boring. Right. And we have to show it's the opposite. Sustainability is something exciting, something we have to celebrate because it's not only good for the environment, it's good for the industry, for all the companies like ABB who are bringing these new technologies on the market to so, save energy and be more environmental friendly. So Mr. Spitzhofer, uh, yes. uh, why does a company like yours get involved in a project like this? Uh, is, it, is it good for brand building? Uh, and why do you bring a nutcase like him to India? Absolutely. If you take what, what ABB really does, we help with technology to decouple economic growth from environmental pollution. And we do that in two steps. First, our technology uses as little as possible energy. So we have highly energy efficient consumption on electrical motors. And the secondly is to provide the energy that's still needed with as little as possible environmental impact like our beautiful solar solutions here. So what we basically need to do is as much as possible output per the kilowatt hour and as little as po possible environmental pollution for the, for the kilowatt hour of energy that we need. That's our mission overall. That's what we do with so, our so what wide exactly portfolio do you technology. Do with solar impulse. With solar impulse, we demonstrate what is technological possible. First, we see that, that renewably generated uh, power and electricity right. Right. is enough to power up an airplane that flies around the world and that it's reliable enough to risk a person's life being up there and rely on the technology. Secondly, to use this power as, as efficient as possible, Solar Impulse has highly efficient technology and highly efficient communication propulsion technology on it, which uses as little as possible of the so, so well-produced technology. So for us, it's a demonstration what's possible. It's a demonstration of technology. It's a mobilizing message to all of our customers and stakeholders out there. And that's the reason why we are very pleased. And, and I can see to uh, in this exhibition, emissions. you put up a lot of your solar uh, Absolutely. Solar, uh, so what, what, what stuff Bertrand, in India. What Bertrand has on the wings of his airplane, you see all around here, right. because basically the renewable generated power is coming up in the world more and more. Just this morning, I met an Indian customer. He will now build a 640 megawatt solar plant. He has under commission 50,000 hectares of space in India to build solar plants. Right. So the, the technology right. is really about to I, take off. I guess it's my friend Suman Sena Zari Paar. <laughs> you, I don't talk about names of small country, small right. uh, But you know, uh, you also found in Burton somebody, uh, I called him a nutcase because he loves to put his life in risk. No, I don't like to put my life at risk. What I understand is that it is much less dangerous to fly in a solar powered airplane than to live in a world that burns one million tons of oil every hour, that pollutes the planet, depletes natural resources, changes the climate. This is dangerous. And because I hate this danger, I do what I can 
to promote new technologies and show to people that fundamentally climate change is not an expensive problem. Climate change is a profitable opportunity to bring on the market these clean technologies. So we have to see all the advantage we can do with these clean technologies and, and move ahead and bring as many people as possible together, especially in governments. So tell me, is the spirit of adventure and spirit of inquiry, scientific, rational spirit of inquiry and adventure, is it, is there something genetic to it? Is it written in the genetic code? I mean, it runs in your family, uh, one generation to the other, your grandfather, a uh, friend of Einstein and Marie Curie. And I believe the first human being to see the, to see the curvature of the, of the earth by himself. And mm -hmm. because he wanted to go higher, I think he, 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 the he designed the cabin. pressurized cabin yes. so he could go higher in a balloon those days. And then your father went deeper uh, and now you. You know, it's not genetic. It's a state of mind. It comes from education and it comes from passion. And when we met with Uli Spiesofer, we immediately understood that we had the same spirit. Although he comes from another background. He comes from the background of industry and engineering. So you can... He used to think of his balance sheet and stock price. Yeah. Well, but it, it, there's, there's no contradiction in itself. Because as an entrepreneur, you also take risks on technology. You're taking a risk scaling up the technology. We're investing hundreds of millions in the technology to get it going. And I think we both want to achieve the same, just coming from different angles. Bertrand shows in his project what is technological possible. We show that it's an industrial value creating opportunity. Because at the very end, we both provide then prosperity to the world. So, but take but us you back see, to it is so important to understand what Uli just said. A lot of people believe they have to make a sacrifice for the environment. They have to make a sacrifice right. to fight climate change. It's wrong. It's an opportunity to invest, to have return on investment, to make profit, to create jobs, and at the same time to make a better quality of and, life. And, and actually, so that's what we love to say. More, more, more mobility, more energy, more fun in life, instead of withdrawing back in huts and, yeah. and jungles. Now look, I think it's very important People are used to a certain of convenience, they're used to lifestyle, they're used to a certain comfort. And the topic is not take it all away from them and let them live in caves again. That's not what we want to do. We want to provide a convenience, a little lifestyle with much less environmental impact. And it shows here, if you take the electric car, if you take the, the pump for the farmer that we have here, it is possible today. So what we are doing is we're teaming up to make sure that the world adapts the technology that is possible today. We have both on a fully aligned interest. We want to we wanna basically run the world without consuming the earth. And this that's is your goal. That's, that's your goal. That's, that's, I love it. I love it. That's what we created when we were last year we were together in front of the United Nations. And, and my mandate was to speak from an industrial perspective. Bertrand talked about his project. And we said very clearly, from an industry perspective, let's run the world without consuming the earth. Let's use the technology. Yeah. Let's let, provide let, green power. I, I like it, right. Let, let, let's not send the world yeah. back to caves. No, Absolutely. No. But, but you know, do actually, that. we really have to understand that most of the technologies that are used in the world are 100 years old, completely outdated. They have too many losses. They are not efficient. Well, I think the light bulbs, combustion engine, insulation the of houses. body jet has not traveled, yeah. civilian jet has not traveled faster than it did 40 years, 50 years back. Yeah, but I show you later on, I show you a really cool electric car. It just shows that it can be fun mm -hmm. to work with, with sustainable energy. And we are not taking convenience and lifestyle away, quite the opposite. We are even supporting it with the right technology. So Bertrand, let's come back to adventure. Uh, but we are already in adventure. Don't right. say come back right. to adventure. No, no, the back. adventure today, you know, is not to go back on the moon because it's done. Right. The adventure of today is to make a better quality of life. And this goes through fighting extreme poverty. It goes through human rights. It goes through medical research. It goes through better governance on the planet. And of course, cleaner technologies to have less impact on the environment and promote economical growth.